this is what I'm talking about. This, everything is just right about this so far. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. person camera oh, that's right I don't have any hats I can't show the hat thing I don't have any hats but when I try to put a hat on my fucking hair disappears and I see no hat when I try to put and I just bald heads and <laughs> when I try to put sunglasses on Nothing at all happens. Can't go in a third person camera. You instinctually at this point go for that PS4 touchpad. Might be bad if my motorcycle isn't there. Thank goodness it is there. Seems to be a thing. And I got no head on my butt. Hey, my head decided to appear. Oh, <laughs> got too close to the camp. Little boundary line there. Come on, horsey. I mean, this is it, man. This really is it. That, that feeling of realness. Something cyberpunk won't let you do. This is what they were going for, I feel like. And Rockstar, I have to give that award of just beautifully immersive simulation-like quality to them. Uh, I guess I was going to, you know, keep on pausing and going back and forth. But that's a pain in the fucking ass. It's a real pain in the ass. <laughs> Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um. Damn. Like, CG Project Red, I just feel like they weren't, um, they were not familiar enough with the kind of gameplay mechanics, the kind of, the kind of programming or whatever coding, whatever you want to say, 
they weren't familiar enough in the territory because they've been making the Witcher of like the sort of loose gameplay that something like GTA allows the kind of goofy ass ragdoll physics where characters can you know fly all over the place your character in cyberpunk feels very stiff versus a Nico Bellic or a Michael DeSanta when you get hit by a car it's a very stiff like uh, locked in kind of an animation where you're just like an animation you know you go straight to the ground in a very repetitive like you seen in that one video where I got hit by like fucking multiple cars and it's all the same fucking red car driving in a row and uh, you fall down the same way it doesn't feel like that in GTA and and I'm saying in GTA but in a Rockstar game in Red Dead Redemption in Grand Theft Auto your character has uh, uh, character has such a, and we're not even going fast, we're just, you know, I'm not picking on any of that shit, the pop-in, this is the question now, ah, get the fucking doofy cue up there, but this is the question, um, that's on total accident, I didn't intend that, if Rockstar sat there calmly, with none of this corporate deadline BS and just said you know we're gonna we're gonna sit down and take our time because this is a lot of depth I haven't explored this game thoroughly you know the way I do things this is not really a review I know this game has been out for a while I've mentioned that but the point is um looking into the future here, ideas, and so what I'm thinking, now that I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2, and uh, I've picked up recently the zombie version of the original Red Dead Redemption, just to fuck around with that, I like to go back and forth with games like that, I'm just thinking that if someday you see a cyberpunk game, Cyberpunk 20 whatever the hell with a Rockstar logo on it I'm just thinking that I just think if you see a cyberpunk game with a Rockstar logo on it I uh, yeah I think you should give it a shot don't get you know Let's not have cyberpunk be a genre that gets a negative connotation to it. Because, like, that amount of depth right there, you know, CD Projekt Red, that's one of our... We shouldn't uh, crucify our gaming companies like Bethesda and Rockstar and CD Projekt Red when they fuck up brutally on a video game. We should acknowledge the challenge that they've... That they've set out before themselves to accomplish and say you know like here is this this challenge of gaming creation and uh, you know one of our titans of gaming failed you know what I'm saying we shouldn't because there's I just feel like it's too complicated of a thing. All the different aspects that go, in, go into creating a game. It's not as black and white as corporate entity wants to make money. So they produce a game and game is shit. And they have robbed you, you know? It's more complicated. This is... You know what I'm saying? And I just... I played this game for the first time last night, and I'm I'm to this point now at it. You know, Arthur, it's the illness of Roman. <laughs> and uh, 
The stew, I'm not interested in some stew right now. I'd like some coffee. No, can't have any? Well, that's all right. I'll have a, a cigarette and grab me something to drink, a brewski. I was just blown away by the intuitiveness of this game's how similar it felt having recently played a bit of cyberpunk and you know the uh, kind of feel the brand of immersion it was going for especially when you're in this mode it's like GTA 5 GTA 5 for the modern era, Cyberpunk for the future, Red Dead Redemption for the past. If uh, Rockstar comes out with a Cyberpunk game and they'll have the trifecta there. All this shit, I, I wish that the cigar especially stayed in your hand and you could smoke it longer. And they gave you this kind of a, a thing with it that you could... You know, choose to uh, take drags of it. I don't get why they have you take a single puff of an entire cigar and then throw it on the ground. Huh. But, you know, all this shit is great. Shit is great. I hope Rockstar makes. This is like an ode to Rockstar. I'm not trying to diss CD Projekt Red. I'm not trying to shit on the people that like cyberpunk. I've only played a night's worth of Red Dead Redemption here, so I'm not trying to scream its glories from the hilltop, but I'm just saying, like, so far, everything feels right. <laughs> and I just want to see them do that third sphere, that third genre. Cyberpunk. Rockstar, Hovercraft Auto. You know what I'm saying? Peace, y'all.